Hello, in this video, I'm going to talk about sugar alcohols. Um, so sugar alcohols are not sugar or alcohol. <laughs> uh, so it is neither. Um, it is a chemical compound that kind of resembles each of those, which is where it gets its name. Uh, sugar alcohols are listed on food labels under carbohydrates. So although it's not a traditional carbohydrate, it's still listed there because they do have a small effect on blood glucose. Uh, sugar alcohols are also referred to as polyols, and they are commonly used as sweeteners and bulking agents. Uh, so where do we find sugar alcohols? Well, for one, they are naturally occurring in certain fruits and vegetables. Um, and then when they're added to foods, so when they're added to processed foods, they're used as sweeteners more often than anything else. Uh, so they are also bulking agents, but more often we see them as sweeteners in sugar-free products because they are not technically sugar. Um, so they are sweet, they have a slight effect on blood sugar, um, but they are not sugar. So they don't have nearly the effect on blood sugar that normal sugars do or normal sweeteners do. Uh, some common sugar alcohols are sorbitol, mannitol, xylitol, lactitol, isomalt, and maltitol. Um, so there's good and bad for sugar alcohols. The good is that they are sweeteners that provide less calories than normal sugar, and they also have a significantly less effect on blood glucose than normal sugar. Uh, they also, because they are not sugar, they do not cause tooth decay. In fact, some sugar alcohols actually have been shown to have protective effects when it comes to tooth decay. Uh, they actually also add texture to foods and retain moisture better than some other sweeteners. Um, so they're really useful in creating all sorts of sugar substitute products. Now, the cons of sugar alcohols, for one, is if you eat too much of it, it will give you a stomach ache. Um, so if you're new to sugar alcohol, go easy, start small. So start with a small amount, see how you feel for the rest of the day and don't have more until the next day. Um, so I, I strongly advise against going crazy on the sugar alcohol before you know how you're going to respond. Uh, it will give you one hell of a stomach ache. Uh, it'll also cause bloating and diarrhea. It has a laxative effect. So go easy. Um, Overconsumption of sugar alcohol also can cause weight gain. So it does, sugar alcohol still do contain calories, even though it contains less calories than other carbohydrates. Um, but if you go crazy on the sugar alcohol or the products that contain them, um, that still could be putting you over in your calorie balance and cause weight gain. Um, so sugar alcohol, although it doesn't have nearly the effect on blood sugar that sugar does, it still does have some effect on blood glucose. Um, so for the people who would eat sugar alcohols because they're avoiding the effects of sugar, um, that could be a problem if you're not aware and not eating these in moderation. So somebody with diabetes mellitus or someone who's following a low carb diet, like a ketogenic diet or anybody else who is trying to manage their blood glucose, you need to be aware that although sugar alcohols uh, are going to have way less effect on blood sugar than other sweeteners, um, they still do have a small effect. So if you're eating these in too great of quantity, you're over consuming sugar alcohol on top of the stomach ache you might get, uh, you are also going to be affecting blood sugar. So somebody on a keto diet could get kicked out of ketosis if they're eating too much sugar alcohol. Uh, somebody with diabetes mellitus who's managing blood sugar uh, could see rises in blood glucose, even though you're avoiding uh, eating regular sugar. All right. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.